Okay. As promised, here is a video to show you how we can edit videos into script. If you want to know how to download, sign up, login, the pricing, company information, and other things about Descript, I've already discussed that in my Descript overdub video, which I will pop up in the upper right corner of the screen, and you can also find the video link in the video description below. In this one, I'll just quickly show you how the video editing is done in Descript. Let's create a new video project. And just a heads up, this is a very unique video editing experience, a good unique experience. Let's assign a proper name to the project. Now you can choose on how to start your project, to either recording your voice, writing the script which you can convert to a speech, which is also the one that we did on the last Descript video I posted, or start with a template. You can start with any of these, you can't go wrong with that. But for me, I'd like to get straight into action, so I go to the media toolbar atop, then upload the media files that I'll be using in the project. Or, an easier way is to locate your file from Windows Explorer, then simply drag and drop it to the project. If you remember the my other video about d-id, I created two AI video from that, and I'll be reusing those for this project. The first thing that the script will do is to transcribe the video. You can then choose a name for the voice of that video, which the script refers to as speaker. I'll just name them as Lady Anthus Alien. Choose the language of the video, click done, and wait for the transcription to finish. Alright. It's done. So here is the user interface of Descript video editing. When you play the video. Hi. I'm a lady generated from Dolly 2. I am just a picture a while ago, and now I have come alive. The transcription is perfectly aligned with the video's dialogues. And that transcription is there for a reason, since that is the central part of the video editing here in Descript. Below in the timeline, as you can see, it is also defining parts through the transcription. As the title of this video says, editing here are all based on these transcription texts. You can edit the video in Descript like MS Word. For example, deleting parts of these texts also deletes its corresponding parts from the video. LeBron James from downtown, he's got 38, and the lead is 14. 38-point triple-double here in Game 3. Uh, they're clearly... Okay. As you can see in the leftmost side part, we only have two scenes in this project. And scenes are defined by a forward slash character. So, if you want to add more scenes, just put a slash on the parts where you want to create a new scene. And as you can see in the left icons, we now have a new scene created. Scenes are a great way to add chapters, or sort of define a grouping within your video. If you want to maybe have one part of the video where you'd like to add a text, or maybe an overlay video or something, then scenes will make that so much easier and way more organized. Also, navigating your video is a lot easier with scenes. You can easily click the scene from the list of scene icons in the left side, and you automatically go to that part. As mentioned earlier, you can also easily delete parts of the video by just deleting its corresponding script. For example here, let's delete this part that says in speaking though the power of d-id.coms. Now when I play the video. Now I have come alive, future facing generative AI. Imagine using your- See that? The part of the text that I deleted has also been deleted from the video itself. Like I said, editing video just like how you edit Microsoft Word document. Really easy. By the way, video transcript is not like overdub. So when you apply a correction here and change the script to say different words, that will not work. Alive. Future facing generative AI. The video Imagine will not magically say something else. AI if you want to do something like that, you should add another transcript, then assign a different speaker on that script. Or, remember my video release two weeks from this one. Follow what I've done on that. Other than manipulation of the video through the transcript, we can also add a lot of different stock media here. Using the toolbar above, we can add shapes, text, a recording, or other stock medias like videos, animated GIFs, images or audios. Let's try adding a video. Since we are on the AI scene, let's search for AI. This first one looks good. Let's click on it. There we go. It's added to the canvas. We can now resize and reposition it. Since I added it on a specific scene, it will only show on that scene. Let's play and see. Now I have come alive, future facing generative AI. Imagine using your face on this free AI Now let's select another scene, and let's try adding a text. You can select either a title, subtitle, plain text, or a caption here. I'll choose title, and let's emphasize great AI tool on this scene. Let's play to check. Embedding your recorded voice to it. By doing that, you don't even need to record yourself on a video anymore. What a great AI tool. And the best Looks good. We can also add shapes in the project, in case the need for that arises. The last icon here in the toolbar are for the other templates that you can add to the projects, like pre-formatted titles, different shapes, overlay, frames, and many more. 
I'll be adding more videos and a gif of Lebron James here overlaying the alien video to make it look better. I'll just fast forward this part to not bore you. Another media option we can add to the project is a recording. You can either record your voice and produce an audio file. You can choose an audio input device here. You can also record using a camera. All the camera devices connected to your PC will also be available here to choose. Or record your screen, and on this one, you can record a combination of everything, the desktop screen, with the webcam feed, along with the audio input device. Once you're good with your project, we can then click the publish button to produce our video. By default, we are on the publish tab, when it allows you to create a video in the cloud, and then share the link to anyone. I also need to note that the script-free version max out to only 720p resolution. So, that's something to keep in mind. If you need a higher resolution, then choose a paid version. To export a video into your local drive, we should go to Export tab. From here you can choose to export to a video, to just an audio file, a GIF file, or export the timeline, transcript or subtitles only. Let's choose video of course, and as said earlier, only a maximum of 720p is allowed on free version. We can choose high quality, you can also set metadata for the video, and another downside for the free version, we have a watermark here. Thus choose export when you're good with the export settings. Then choose the path and file name. Exporting is done. Let's open the file. It has produced 4 megabytes of file for a 1 minute video. Not bad. Let's play the video. I'm a lady generated from Dolly 2. I am just a picture a while ago, and now I have come alive. Future face There's the AI overlay we added. Imagine using your face on this free air recorded voice to it. Record yourself. And the best part is. There's the title text. And the best part is, all of these. Three, bang! LeBron James. James the other video bang. overlay I added. LeBron James from downtown. He's got 38. And the lead is 40. Uh, Let's find the animated GIF file part. Three pointer. Bang! LeBron there we go. Downtown, and that seals the deal. Perfect. All right. That's all I got for this video. I personally really like the concept of descript video editing. Imagine video editing done like an MS Word document. Wait. You don't have to imagine it, you can try it yourself for free. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.